for many aspiring homeowners, purchasing a property can seem like an insurmountable challenge due to the fact that there's a lot of lending requirements when you're purchasing a home. For those of you who don't know, it's a lot of stuff that we ask you for. As a loan officer, we ask you for a lot of documents and it could just feel overwhelming. However, there is something called FHA, also known as Federal Housing Administration. Most people call it first time home buyers or whatever. Are you serious? But that's not the real name. So this is a program that can be, the requirements are a little bit lower and it makes it easier for you to purchase a house. True story, that's actually a loan that I use personally. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Mr. Marcel and I teach first time home buyers how purchasing or buying a property can be simple, easy, and fun. So welcome back Hustle Family and let's go into it. Lower down payment requirements. One thing that stands out about FHA loans is that it actually, it they lower the down payment requirement significantly. Most people know conventional loans, they're like, hey, you need 20% down, but with an FHA, you only need 3.5% down. So I want you to think about this. Think about this. If you are buying a house and you're waiting to save 20% down, let's say you're buying a house that's 500,000 and you're waiting to save 20%, that is $100,000. Now, in the meantime, I'm doing an FHA loan and I only need 3.5% down. So who do you think is going to purchase that property faster? The person waiting to save 20% or the person who's waiting to save 3.5? And that's one of the reasons why I tell people, hey, don't worry if you don't have 20%. You can do it with an FHA loan, put down the 3.5% and still buy the same exact house. Nothing, nothing is changing. Now, flexibility on the credit qualifications. Oh, even before I go to number two, I want to tell you a quick story. When me and my, at the time, Jashelle was my girlfriend, right? We weren't engaged then when we were purchasing a house. So when we were looking to buy a house, we were going to go conventional. I had my mind made up. This was before I actually got into lending and becoming a loan officer, like you see here now. And the broker that I ended up working with was like, Malcolm, you're going to spend way too much money. At the time, the house we were buying was 600000 So that was $120,000 we would have needed just for the down payment. That doesn't include closing costs, what most people tend to forget about. Mm -hmm. So he was like, hey, Malcolm, you have really good credit. My score at the time was at like a 720, 740. But we only had a limited cash. I think in total, we had about 130, 140. So that 120 would have been down enough for the 20%, but what about my closing costs? Closing costs end up being another 30,000. So I would need 150. And I remember I only had about 120 to 130, 140, something like that. So that would have been all my capital if I even had enough because technically I needed about 150 or more, right? And what I was able to do is I was able to put down 10% FHA. So that's $60,000 plus closing costs, everything, let's just call it $100,000. But I was able to save the difference, that 20, 30 grand that I had in my account now. So now I'm not going into a house having no money, nothing, you still gotta put moving expenses, you have to buy a furniture. When you buy a house, you have tons of things that you need to buy. So using the FHA, I'm a firm believer, get in where you fit in. You can always refinance later. Most people think that once you get the FHA loan that you have to stay in that loan. That's not true. You can buy it now and then refinance late and go on conventional. Nothing is stopping you from going to conventional and moving to PMI, MIP, whatever. But do not let the fear of hearing the word FHA cause you not to buy. Okay. Flexible credit qualifications. Another advantage of FHA loans is that they're more lenient when it comes to your credit requirements. Very lenient. Traditional loans often dem demand a higher credit score. For conventional, they usually want 680 or higher, but with FHA, we can go as low as 500. You do have to put more money down, but if you want to do 3.5, we can go as low as a 580 on your credit score. Do you hear me? A 580. So if you're looking to buy a house and you, your credit isn't the strongest, but you know you need to buy now, I'm telling you, it's a good look. So make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm going to have a special treat, a secret. You know how I like doing my secrets for you guys. I'm going to have a special secret that you can only see there. Assumable loans. FHA loans are unique in that they allow you to assume the mortgage, meaning that if you decide to sell your home, right, 
your buyer can take over your existing FHA loan. This feature can be attractive to potential buyers because now they can take over the loan balance that you had left. And most times they give you the same interest rates, the ability to tra transfer the loan can actually enhance you if you're selling a house. Because imagine this, rates are super high now and you have an FHA loan that they're allowing someone else to assume. So they still go through their whole credit, they, they go through the whole loan process. The only difference is they're assuming the balance that you have left based off of that particular bank. Yeah, they assume your loan. You still have to pay them whatever they're asking for, but it makes it easier because now they don't have to really worry about, oh my God, the rates are going to be so much higher and things like that. Competitive interest rates. Most people think that, hey, if I go conventional, I'm getting a better rate. Not really true. FHA has actually really good competitive rates. Sometimes they're actually lower than conventional, um, believe it or not. It all depends on your credit score, how much you're putting down. There's a lot of factors that take place, but FHA loan can be very attractive. Same way. So please, before you think about, oh my God, this is horrible for me. No. Streamlined refinancing options. This is really good. During COVID, true story, we were I was doing a lot of these. Um, the reason being is if you have an FHA loan, you can do a streamline um, refinance, meaning that they ask for a few of the same documents, but it just goes through much quicker. And they even allow you to do it at sometimes at the same um, bank. I believe most times it might be the same bank. Don't quote me on that. I have to double check. But they gave you a much lower interest rate, same FHA loan. It was just at a lower interest rate. You just refinance. You did a, what's called a rate and term, meaning that you took out no money from the property. They did an appraisal and just updated docs. And that was it. It was super quick. I'm talking about these things were closing in about 30 days or less. And um, it's just another little cool thing that FHA has that I think more people need to take advantage of because it helps reduce your interest rate. It, and when you lower your interest rate, you lower your monthly payments. Now, FHA loans have been proven to be a game changer in the realm of mortgages and home ownership. Um, but the sad truth is, the statistics show that it's still very, very, very underutilized. I think in 2020, it was only about, I want to say about 7.9 or 10% of overall loans were actually FHA. So that shows that most people are either going conventional, maybe they're doing a no-doc or one of those funky loans, but not enough people are utilizing FHA and it's a great benefit to get a house. And like I said, you can always refinance and go to conventional later. So don't let it stop you because it's very competitive with rates. Um, the guidelines are a little bit easier, lower credit score. So if you made it to the end of this video, here's my special tip for you. Most people don't know this, but you can actually use an FHA loan to fix up a property. Can you believe it? You can fix up a property using an FHA loan, meaning that you only put down 3.5%. They'll give you money to fix the house. Can you believe that? They're giving you the money to fix it. And it's all included in your monthly payment. Now, I actually have a video on it, and the video will be right up here. It's called... FHA 203K loans. All right, I'll see you over there in a little bit. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that video right there. And over and out. Ow.